So today, matte paint and how to make it look perfect like this. But first, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to drop loads of new content and follow what I do on a day to day basis over on my Instagram page. Ceramic coating. Normally my go to is Crystal Serum Light and XO V4. However, we're talking matte paint today. So we're only going for the XO V4. Quite specifically because it is matte and satin safe. The CSL is a gloss enhancer, so you want to steer clear of that. With the XO, it comes as a comprehensive package. You're getting instruction sheet, applicator pads, the coating, gloves, everything you need to do your vehicle. So the only thing you'll need on top of this for the coating application is a handful of microfiber cloths. I like to go odd colors so I know what cloth one, cloth two is, but we'll get into that on the application side of it. Now, prior to the truck being inside of me and worked on, it was washed outside and covered with iron fallout remover. Um, you cannot clay bar matte vehicles because it's an abrasive and it might make it shine. So once the truck was pulled in, I've gone over it with a tar and glue remover to move any tar deposits that might have been on the vehicle. That there is enough of a decontamination for a fairly well looked after matte vehicle. Once gone over with the tar remover, I've come back in with an alcohol or a panel wipe or um, sort of a, a pre-coating cleaner. Um, G Technic Cell Panel Wipe. This is a um, car pro, um, whatever floats your boat. Um, this is a really nice product. But what we're essentially doing here is removing any oils that might be on the surface any last bits and pieces we're just taking away making sure that matte paint is absolutely crispy clean ready for the coating application now we're coating this vehicle because it's a daily driver it gets dirty it's in and out it's up and down the country a lot so it's just going to make care for it so much easier in the years to come now coating itself g technic supply you with a microfiber sort of pad um, Apply on your first application quite a, a sizable amount to that pad. Really sort of prime it up so you've got enough coating on there. Now what you will find with coating a matte vehicle is that first coating application, it soaks it in. It really soaks it in like nothing you will have ever seen before. Um, and that's because it's quite open poured compared to gloss plane it's not sort of a slick surface that it glides across of it just soaks it up it's different when you come to the second one but on that first one load it up allow it to soak it in this is sort of your base layer really lay that down nice and thick now you'll see from the application because you're applying a liquid to the matte paint you're sort of seeing a sheen come back from the coating so it's quite easy to see where you've been and where you haven't. So use nice straight lines, cross hatch motion, and just ensure you get a full and even coverage of it. Quite simple, um, quite nice to do really. Now, once you've sat on there for a minute or so, come back in with your microfibers. Now, this is where I was saying about the different colors. My first cloth being my yellow cloth, the first side of it, I level the coating off with. I'm not trying to remove it, I just level it off, it's nice and smooth. I flip the cloth over and then I come back in and level it. My second cloth being a different colour so I never get the two confused, comes back in and gives it a final buff down. But what I'll always try and do is go a little bit further than where I have coated just to feather it out ready for the application of the next section. But you can see it's a deeper darker look already to the area that's been coated now you might not be into coatings but if you've got a matte vehicle there's not a lot you can do um, gloss paintwork you can polish it you can wax it you can do this matte you're kind of limited um, so for coating it's ideal especially if it's a daily driver or sort of a higher valued vehicle uh, coating it really is a no-brainer for me. 
for your first layer of your coating, like I say, it's going to soak it up, work in manageable chunks. Here I'm working on a one-year-old Volkswagen Amarok. This is factory specification matte paint. Really cool spec on it. This is a big bonnet. This is sort of the equivalent to sort of your Range Rover bonnet, something like that. So I've split it into four sections for the first application because of how much it just soaks it in. On the second application, I was able to push it further. But if you're new to coating, work in smaller sections. Have a look at the coating, see how it's absorbing, see how it's reacting before you start buffing it off. Give yourself a bit of time. There's no stress in that. But all you just want to make sure is you're buffing it off nice and evenly, nice and securely. Make sure you're flipping your cloth, you're not just wiping with one side, and make sure you're working with two cloths. Some people will recommend working with three. Um, if that makes you feel more comfortable, do so. However, for me, I've been coating cars for a fair amount of time now. I'm happy to coat with two cloths. Now with your first panel done, for me that was the bonnet, it's time to methodically work your way around the car. Um, I went bonnet, wing, doors, roof, rear section and ended up finishing with the front bumper. For you, you might work a different way. This is just the method in which I work. Everyone works in different ways. I'm not right, I'm not wrong. Find what works best for you. Um, and just stick to that. Find a little method and just stick to it. You might already have this method because you wax your cars in certain ways, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, find your method, stick to it, and just, just go with it. Don't let someone tell you you're wrong. If it's working for you, stick with it. Um, and like I say, if you're not following my Instagram page already, get over there, check it out. There's some nice photos of this truck done, finished, um, and you're seeing what I worked on the daily basis some of the cars i can't post on youtube some of the cars they might just be in a time frame that doesn't allow me to make a video fortunately this was one of them um super cool truck it went through paint coating wheel coating trim coating glass coating it kind of had the full works but when you get to them finished shots at the end of the video it's worth hanging around for it looked amazing and brand new again the owner was chuffed to pieces Now, you're doing your second buff off with your second cloth. It's all looking rather rosy, but your lighting's not quite there. And you're just a little unsure. What you can do is grab a hand torch. Now that can be a nice scan grip, that can be an LED torch out of Halfords. You just need not official light source to show that your coatings come off nice and easy. It's nothing to worry about. You're better to be safe than sorry. Um, on the wheel arches areas, I was always grabbing a scan grip and just check in the painted section actually lips under into the wheel arch about four inches on this truck so for me it was a must to be able to get a light in there and check it 
the flat uppers you've got loads of light but sometimes them lower areas you just want to be you just want to be safe don't be worried about it like i say you're better to take the time now and ensure the coating is fully off coating a gloss car you can quite easily polish it off if it needs to be polished off with matte you want to get it right first time round. grab a light check your work and make sure you're happy with it once you've done that move on to the next section that being said once you're done with your car once you're done with the cloths that you've been using they go in the bin they will go hard they will be crispy and you will not want to use them again three hours have passed I'd let the coating cure down. I've then gone in and I've done a second layer for added durability and water behavior. Now what you can instantly see here is I'm working in larger sections. That first layer of coating really has sort of sealed over that matte paint lovely and it's allowing me to work in quicker, faster, larger areas. Bonnet was done in two pieces um, the back was done quicker, the doors were done quicker, it just didn't absorb it so much. I'm now sitting coating on top of coating. This is when the true finish started to shine through. This is when the matte paint was looking at its absolute best and it was applying at its absolute easiest. Um, really, really worth doing the second coat. Grab yourself a bigger bottle of coating, grab yourself the 50 mil, spend a little bit extra and do a little bit more it's absolutely worth it Now, the wing mirrors and the side seals were actually painted gloss black. These were quite heavily scuffed and scratched, so I compounded them prior to any coating work. However, because they're gloss, they had a base layer of CSL, so Crystal Serum Light, that was then topped with the XO on the top coat, but I just thought I'd show you that they were coated as well. Um, like I say, it's a gloss enhancing coating that really does sort of pop um, so for the gloss areas it was a must And with the wing mirrors and the side steps now done, that was it. The truck's finished. The matte finish looked beautiful. It really did. Um, super clean sheen, no inconsistencies, no contamination. It felt smooth to the touch. It looked even, it looked absolutely lovely. Um, but what do you wanna see? Realistically, water behaviour. I couldn't help myself. I had to do it. I didn't want to do it, but I thought, I've got to see it. I need to see what this is behaving like. Um, water in a bottle, it's not, it's not your jet wash test, but you instantly see how tight and quickly this surface beads now it's coated. It was not doing this before. It was very flat. It wasn't repelling water. This is now repelling water like a perfectly polished, coated, gloss car is doing with one coating and two layers. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful.
Now with my brain satisfied knowing that it beads, it sheets and it dries off super duper easy. It was time to get it out, get some finished shots and really admire the paintwork on this truck. And there you have it, one seriously tough looking work truck ready to go and get dirty again. Like I say, two layers of XO, you now know how to do it if you've got matte paint, get stuck in with it, matte wrap, get stuck in with it. Any questions, drop them in the comments. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel, get on the Instagram page, give that a like, um, and I'll see you again shortly We've got a detailing transformation sort of barn find video coming up next. That's going to be wicked. So subscribe and hit the bell notification for that video. Cheers.